Nazism in Chile by Haley Hess. Chile is a country in South America and is neighbored by Argentina, Peru, and Bolivia. In 1475, the Inca tribes invaded the north of the country. Soon after, the Spaniards came and colonized the Incas. They showed them how to live like the white man. Many years after that, now during World War II, refugee camps were put up into, in Chile for more than 300 German families. This is one reason how Nazism got to Chile. With so many camps now in the country, and with more people fleeing Germany, it wasn't hard to hide Nazis among the others. The issue at hand right now is that young Chilean citizens are trying to become closer together and becoming neo-Nazis. They are trying to follow in Adolf Hitler's footsteps, but instead of killing Jews and other misfits like in Germany, they are targeting people who are supposedly a threat to their society. People they think are that are a threat are homosexuals, alcoholics, drug addicts, thieves, and punk rockers. They attack in groups of people with three to five, burning the victim with cigarettes and beating them senseless, then leaving the poor person for dead. Besides burning their bodies with cigarettes, they also use sharp glass pieces from the city, the city streets to carve Nazi symbols into the victim's body. With all of this going on, many people are at large in the situation. The people most affected by the crimes are the targets and their families. Other people are the actual neo-Nazi groups and the attackers involved. Other person, another person that is involved in this issue is Nicholas Palacios, who is the not who put the Nazi ideas into the minds of others within Chile. He was also um, the person who wrote and published the book called Raza Chilena. It is a book about Chilean people becoming neo-Nazis and the Nazi ideas being brought to the country. Some ways that this is trying to be stopped is other neighboring countries from Chile are trying to put up an anti-discrimination law that yet has been put into effect. This will help stop the violence and the acts against homosexuals and other misfits in the country by the neo-Nazis. An example of how outraged other people are about this topic is when the protesters stood outside the hospital where Daniel, a 25-year-old male and is homosexual, was pronounced dead after being attacked by a group of neo-Nazi men in a park. In the end, the United States was not involved in this situation, but did supply grants to some reporters who were able to travel to Chile to find out what was happening in the cities. Besides the obvious government role in this situation, another element of culture is social organization. Because of how the neo-Nazis saw they were better than the other Chilean citizens.